I think that, that the issue of promoting nuclear energy at home is all about developing alternatives to dependence on oil, coal, polluting uh, energy sources. Um, and that, I think, is, is understood uh, at, abroad as part of the civilian uses of nuclear energy. Uh, on the other side of the track, which is uh, nuclear uh, weapons, which it's relatively easy to cross over from nuclear energy production to nuclear weapons production. Um, it's very important that this push for alternative energy in terms of nuclear uh, power plants is buttressed by a strengthening of the non-proliferation regime. And that regime is deeply threatened by the efforts of Iran to acquire nuclear weapons and the efforts of North Korea to continue producing them. Uh, and so President Obama has uh, pursued, at the same time as he's promoting nuclear energy at home, an effort to strengthen the non-proliferation regime abroad. This comes in the form of, of uh, uh, trying to reach an agreement with Russia, which I think will be forthcoming quite soon, on a fairly dramatic reduction in the nuclear arsenals of the United States and Russia. But it also comes in the form of an effort by the United States to lead an international coalition uh, to pressure both Iran and North Korea to uh, give up their nuclear weapons aspirations. If he fails to achieve his purpose in that regard, then I'm afraid we're going to see a nuclear arms race break out in the Middle East and the nuclear energy uh, effort in terms of promoting nuclear energy um, could, be, could come back to bite the president in the form of a whole lot of countries in the Middle East claiming to seek nuclear energy as Iran did but actually having in mind to uh, jump over into a nuclear weapons production.